So now with us, we have uh, Charlotte Oliver. Um, Charlotte is working at Chakisk. Um, Chakisk is a semi-state authority in the Republic of Ireland, responsible for research and development training uh, in agri-food sector. And I think Charlotte has uh, origins from France. So uh, Charlotte, welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, Charlotte, tell us uh, a bit about yourself. What is your background? Where are you coming from? So, as, so my name is Charlotte Oliver. I'm 26 years old, and I'm from Clermont-Ferrand, which is a city in the center of France. Mm -hmm. um, so I am at the moment a PhD student. So originally, I have a um, bachelor and a master in nutrition from obtained from a university in my hometown in Clermont. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently doing a PhD. I'm in my fourth year in uh, Chagask in Park in County Cork, which is the um, southern part of the um, Irish Ireland, uh, sorry, of the Irish Islands. And over there, I'm doing a um, PhD under the supervision of um, Linda Giblin, Andre Brodkov, and Lorraine O'Driscoll, and I work with um, something called Milk Extracellular Vesicles. And so, um, extracellular vesicles, they're very small particles, and I look at the, those vesicles that are present in milk, and I'm looking at their health effects, um, so by digesting them and also by uh, applying them to um, cells in vitro in the lab. So that's what I'm currently working on. That's amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing your background. You are a young scientist. So allow me to tell to ask you throughout your career until now, what uh, kept motivating you and inspiring you? Did you, did you have any role model? That's, that's a very good question. Um, so as you said, I am still a very young scientist, but um, what keeps me actually motivating is that I really like my work. I really like working with uh, science every day. Mm -hmm. I, um, I like that we have the possibility to make a discovery that can change, um, that can change and improve people's lives, you know, or to make uh, people's lives easier. And I like that we actually, in science, we have the possibility to uh, answer very specific questions that have never been answered before, and that this question can actually um, help people in their life. And I also uh, like uh, working with uh, people, you know, in my lab. So I come from a lab supervised by a woman, so it's Linda Gibbelin's lab. And um, I work in an environment with many nationalities, so I work with uh, Spanish, Irish, um, Italian people, and I work also in an um, environment that has a gender ba uh, gender balance, which is um, very rare in the environment we're working in. But I think this is very um, very interesting because we get from everybody's point of view mm -hmm. when we work. And I found also that my coworkers are very inspiring, you know, being able to um, balance um, their private life with science, which can be sometimes time consuming. And I also find that, uh, so there's more and more women in science, but still some of the, um, some of the position are, um, you, you don't find as many women in position with uh, more responsibilities, but this tends to change, and I admire the women who are able to actually reach those uh, positions. As you said, I think science needs diversity, needs different perspectives, and and uh, women and people from different backgrounds bring that. However, we need that to be represented also in the higher leadership positions, so those women can have someone to look up to right so representation yeah. in higher in higher positions are equally important to having women in science yes it is um i think it is very uh it's easier when you have someone to look up to when you when you work and you want to have a career 
And as you said, it, when you have a woman, you can more uh, identify as another woman. Mm -hmm. That's right. really, really, really important. What? I think so too, yeah. Um, uh, let me ask you as a last question. What message will you send out to um, a young girl or a woman who may consider uh, following a career in science or in, in nutrition as well, like uh, you're coming from? What message will you send out to her? I would say that they should never uh, doubt on their own capacity. Um, so science is very... it's a very competitive environment but uh, it is also um, a place where uh, hard work uh, pays off mm -hmm. and to actually be persistent and resilient that's two important characteristics indeed yeah and it is you know science is not a very um, it's not an easy path for anyone but it is it is a type of job where you use so different many skills like what you're doing you're doing interviews i'm in the lab but you um you can also work in the field with animals and so <coughs> i think also you know being persistent and resilient uh actually can lead you to do something very interesting and very nice that you enjoy doing on a daily basis now that's really inspiring and true as well uh, Charlotte, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Uh, it was our honor to have you to have you with us today. Honestly, um, I, I we wish you uh, the very best to what you're doing, and I hope you are keep inspiring people, but also improving people's life. I think that's really important uh, message that all of our guest scientists are doing. So again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, for having me. And of course. Yeah, well, uh, that's a very nice initiative that you have. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.